The cross is an instrument of torture. Pain prepares us for death. We don't get our peace from having a bunch of money or sitting in a comfortable place that's really, really safe. He's like, hey, if you have some kind of place of comfort and success, you might as well lose it now. Pain promises peace. And sin, when it is finished, brings forth death. We get our peace from knowing that the God of this universe never changes. If you're like me, you've been waiting for a little while for the Christian life to get easy, for the pain to go away, for us to finally figure out exactly what the ingredients are supposed to look like, and the Christian life then is comfortable. Do you know what? It's not gonna happen. Jesus said, if you're gonna be my disciple, you have gotta take up your cross and follow me. The cross is an instrument of torture. James deals with this pretty clearly in James chapter one. I wanna to talk to you for just a few moments in lesson two on this topic, pain promises peace. James says, let the brother of low degree rejoice in that he is exalted. Well, that's easy, that doesn't sound hard. If I'm low, if I'm nothing, and I begin to experience exaltation and blessings and promotion, then of course I'm gonna rejoice. But then he says, and the rich man should rejoice in that he is made low. Because as the flower of the grass, he shall pass away. Pain prepares us for death. He says in verse 11, the sun is no sooner risen with the burning heat, but it withers the grass and the flower thereof falls and the grace of the fashion of it perishes. So also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. He's like, hey, if you have some kind of place of comfort and success, you might as well lose it now because you're gonna lose it eventually. So hey, if you lose it now, then you got the advantage of learning a good lesson and you're that much closer to the peace that God wants to bring to you. <laughs> then he really uh, clocks us upside the head with verse 12. Blessed is the man who endures temptation. Endures. No pain, no gain, right? He says that suffering will help you to get to the peace of God and the peace with God that he wants you to have. It'll take your eyes off of this world. He says, for when you are tried, when you are tested, when you endure this pain, you will receive a crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. We read elsewhere in the scriptures that we are not supposed to love the world. Neither should we love the things that are in the world. We're supposed to love the Father. So if we lose the things of this world, what do we got left? We've got eternal things. And James says, what a blessing this is. Pain promises peace. But pain certainly causes us to question what God is doing, question His goodness. And so he deals with that in verse 13. He says, let no man say when he is tempted, well, I'm tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempts he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust has conceived, he says, it brings forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, brings forth death. He says, do not err, my beloved brethren. Don't make the mistake of blaming God for the pain that you're in. The reason we suffer in this life is because of the curse. And the curse, of course, is a product of human rejection of God and rebellion against God. And then he concludes, concludes with this in verse 17, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. He's talking about pain, temptation, trials. Every good gift comes from above. It comes down from the Father of lights with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. See, we don't get our peace from the absence of war. We don't get our peace from having a bunch of money or 
sitting in a comfortable place that's really, really safe. We get our peace from knowing that the God of this universe never changes and He has us in His hand. And we are seated together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Pain promises peace. So embrace the pain of the Christian life. God help us.